Welcome to Marketplace Middle East. I'm Eleni Jokas here in the UAE capital, Abu Dhabi. From its burgeoning tourism sector to its position as a hub for global trade, the UAE's influence is extending beyond its borders. In April, the country joined forces with Turkey, Iraq and Qatar in a landmark deal to bring forward a $17 billion project that's set to revolutionize trade and transportation. Scott McLean went to visit the site where the development road project is slated to be built. We are in southern Turkey where these trucks are just gearing up to head into Iraq. Right now, this is the center of commerce between two countries, but soon it could be a major transit hub for the whole world. Iraq's ambitious development road infrastructure project aims to connect the Persian Gulf and the Mediterranean, a route that some say could one day rival the Suez Canal. But with Turkey's economy sputtering and Iraq plagued by instability, there is no shortage of challenges. The road to Iraq is wide open until you reach the border. Dozens of trucks are here at any given moment waiting to cross. In the shade of two rigs, these guys have set up camp, expecting it to take up to 24 hours to clear customs. Honestly, the Turkish economy is collapsing right now. There is no work. We can only do three trips a month. Our biggest problem is the waiting in line. If we could wait at home with our children, it would be nice. Plus, the roads in Iraq, they say, are terrible, full of potholes. Our trucks get ruined. Zigzagging, turning all the time. If you close your eyes, you are on the edge of a cliff. But help is on the way. Back in April, Turkey, Iraq, Qatar and the UAE signed on to a massive deal, potentially marking the beginning of a transformative era. The $17 billion development road project will start at the Persian Gulf. New roads and railways will stretch all the way to the Turkish border. From there, goods can reach the Mediterranean, Europe or beyond. <laughs> Alice Uruk personally knows many of the drivers in the queue and the challenges facing the industry he advocates for. One of the big problems is that we are transporting only to northern Iraq, where we can hand the cargo to local companies who will take it from there. With the development road project, we will be able to transport directly to the countries we want to, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Kuwait. This will have a significant impact on our economy. What kind of impact would the development road project have on the lives of ordinary drivers? Both the transport sector and our truck drivers will be able to earn more money. They will have higher profit margins for the same distance. This is the river that separates Turkey and Iraq. This is the only major commercial crossing between the two countries, but the plan is to build a whole new one about 15 kilometers downstream in that direction. In Turkey, new roads, new railways will connect it to existing transport links, but so far, the only shovels in the ground are in Iraq. On Iraq's southern coast, the pieces of a project years in the making are finally being moved into place. More than 2,000 workers are building the El Fa port, the start of the project, which, when finished, will be the biggest port in the Middle East. But there's no shortage of competition. From China's Belt and Road connecting China to Europe, to the India-Middle East-Europe corridor, linking India to the Mediterranean through the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan and Israel. When you take in consideration the other projects, the length of the route, the construction costs, the bend in the roads, the mountain ranges that they pass through, you will find that they are difficult projects to implement, but Iraq is different. There is a shorter distance, the land is flat, and there is a real link between the port on one side and via a land bridge with a port on the other side. The road may be flat, but the challenges are steep. Political instability, corruption, war and terrorism all threaten to derail the project. These issues will be solved by the road linking the Arabian Gulf and the Mediterranean Sea. In Istanbul, the project's land link with Europe, its progress is being watched closely. This project, first of all, is a, a huge potential for, for Iraq. Business obviously likes stability. 
Yes. When I think of Iraq though, stability is not the first thing that comes yes. to mind. That's true. There are many problems. The state institutions are really weak. Security is the main problem. Uh, ISIS is, is still you know, trying to resurgence in Iraq and there are also other uh, security problems which are emanated from the other terrorist organizations such as PKK. Does Iraq need to be stable for this project to yeah, work that's, or will this project bring the stability? Yeah, I think there is a mutually constitutive relationship between these two. Yes, uh, this project will of course stabilize Iraq but at the same time you know, the, the other uh, dynamics uh, can harm the uh, project. It has been a long time since the transport links over there in Iraq that of course connect here in Turkey got a substantial upgrade. Those ancient trade routes in Mesopotamia have been neglected now for decades. But if this development road project came to life, it could be a win-win for Iraq and the region. No one expects it to be a cure-all for Iraq's problems, but it would be a pretty good start.